I want you to forget everything you have learned as far as movement and dance are concerned from anybody, even me, because I want to start at the bottom. The first step is the most important. The way you plant the seed in creative work, the more it will grow of its own self easily and beautifully. This is pretty much the way I would start any group. Make stretching movements. Just stretch naturally, easily, freely, in your own way. Trying different ways of stretching. Feeling it through your whole body. And just let go and rest a moment. This is such an important first step that I'm going to have you do it a few times. And each time, I'll give you a few hints so that you can get more and more out of it. We're always concerned with feeling here. We approach dance as expression of feeling, formed feeling. So <coughs> as you stretch, try to feel it through your whole body and try to uh, express the feeling of stretching. Try it. <coughs> Yes, if your voices want to stretch too, that's all right. Yes, let's hear it. All right, that's just a moment. I'm going to ask you to do flopping and dropping movements. Flop and drop all over the place. I'm giving you basic movements of the human body and you're exploring them. You're discovering how you can do them with feeling. Now shaking is another good relaxing move. Shake your legs a little bit. Lift them right up in the air and shake them. Oh, loosely remember, this is for looseness. This is not for tension. Loose, 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 loose. Good, 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 good. Twisting. Twist your trunk and twist your arms and twist your legs and twist everything. And twisting is also a feeling. Feel very twisty. Maybe it's enough. I'm afraid you'll twist yourself all out of shape, never the same again. It's true, you're not supposed to be the same after you've done these things. Other loosening movements, bouncing. We have to do a little knee springing to get a bit of elasticity there. We call it bouncing. Just whatever feels comfortably bouncy. Throwing away. Go ahead. Throw away first one leg and then the other. Your arms, too. Throw away your trunk, too. Throw away everything. Swing.
swinging. A swing is a back and forth movement, and basically gravity does most of the work. I'm asking you to say swing because the breath will get into it and the whole self will be better coordinated with the breath. So say swing. Try to relax as much as you can and have that feeling of having the thing go back and forth and letting go and letting go and letting go. Walking. Just walk in your own most natural way. Now the important thing is that you feel it. Who would like to see the whole group doing your newly invented walk? <laughs> There's nothing so wonderful as to see your own individual movement amplified by 50 people. I suggest if you would like to see that, then just get up and start doing it around the room. And as soon as the ones who are watching, if you think you can do it, get up and do it too. And we'll have a group walk. Now, if you don't volunteer, <laughs> ah, we have a volunteer, good. Her weight is on her hands as well as her feet. Her knees are bent so that her hands can reach the floor. It has a regular beat. Walk, 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 walk. We ought to hear it if you're all doing it together. The weight is on the hands as well as the feet. Some of you are just waving your hands in the air. Bend your knees. All right, that's enough group. It's hard. Oh, dear. I... Did I? Was it too hard? Did I make you go on too long? But just waving the arms around in the air wasn't quite it. Everybody sit down on the step. Now, don't think of yourself and your difficulties. Think of the kind of walk which you have invented. And if it is very, very, very different from this, it would be very enjoyable for everyone to do. So let's have one which is very, very different, and everybody join in. All right. The concepts of non-personal choices and contrast. Now, don't think of yourself. Think of the kind of walk that you have invented. And if it is very, very, very different from this, it would be very enjoyable for everyone to do. Skipping. There is something that is very important about the skip that has to do with when the skip occurs. 
It would help you a lot if as you skip, you say skip. And that will give you a feeling of, I'm skipping now, 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 now. Group skip dance. You can start on your own, but start listening and feeling other people around you and end up all skipping together. Complete relaxation. Lie on your backs. Now the next thing is to close your eyes. The legs are loose. The arms are loose if possible. We will keep our chin up a little bit. We'll keep our breathing perfectly relaxed. Let it do whatever it wants to do. Now, the question is, what are you supposed to be thinking about while you're relaxing? You're supposed to have your attention on the feeling in your muscles. You're really supposed to feel. Uh, put your attention on your forehead. Is it smooth? Put your attention on your eyelids. Are they hanging lightly, not tightly? Put your attention on your lips. Can they hang open a little? The attention on the breathing. Attention on the breathing is always a good thing. Just follow it with your mind. See how it comes and goes naturally, easily. Uh, in order not to think about anything else, it's good to actually think about the muscles, the feeling of the muscles. All right, now that's enough. We want the whole body to experience tightness as contrast to looseness but not so that it's uncomfortable and miserable. Try it again, tight all over. <clears throat> now this means hold it, keep on breathing, keep on breathing, but hold it. This means tight all over. It means tight in your legs and your feet and your arms and your hands, your fingers, and your trunk and your back and your front. And now let go, shh. Now, during the tightness, you may Breathe in and out, in and out, any way you want to. As you let go, shh, it's always desirable to to get the air out of your lungs. It furthers relaxation. Now, of course, every time you do this, you'll do it in a different way. You won't always do the same thing. Let's try, make ourselves tight all over again. And loose. I was, I guess, one of the first that ever did this, and they used to speak of me contemptuously as that head, hands, and feet dancer. <laughs> but I was always interested in head, hands, and feet. I am. <laughs> I want your feet to be as expressive as your faces. Close your eyes. Now we close the eyes because that makes it possible for you to put your attention on the uh, kinesthetic sense, the muscle sense, the movement sense. Now, first of all, if you'd never done any movement in your whole life before, I would say, <clears throat> can you move your head? Can your head move? Let's see if you can move your head. And then I would say, move it in different ways. You'll have to include the neck and the upper spine. Let me just say one thing. There's quite a difference between really having the head being the, being the moving part of your instrument and everything following it, or just letting the head come along. Now look at this. I wouldn't call this a head movement. I mean, my trunk is moving like anything. And the head is just sort of coming along. Better than that, don't move your trunk at all. Just move your head. But if your head is really moving, 
then of course, let the trunk come with it as much as you can. But don't escape head movement by moving your trunk. I'd like to have you do it again. Move, move with the head and the neck and the upper spine. Keep on going a little bit if you can. And of course, nice and loose. That's coming, that's coming. Of course, backward head movement is a very important one. Don't neglect that. <clears throat> Keep your face very relaxed. Let your lips be a little open so there's no strain under the neck. All right, that's probably enough group. Yes. And you are experimenting to see how much movement you can get in your toes. And then your toes and ankles. This is foot movement. Toes and ankles. Try to spread your toes like a fan. Try to curl them under like a fist. Move your ankles from side to side and around and down and up. This is exploration to see how much movement you can get. The material of dance, movement. The body is the instrument of dance. And everything we have been doing so far is concerned with the use of the instrument. When do we get to the substance of dance, which is movement? Now forget the body and forget your parts. Put your whole attention on the quality of the movement. Dance called slowness. <clears throat> Would you express the feeling of fast? Yes, fast movement. Here we go. Uh, forceful, strong movement. All right. Let your breath come out with it. Just the opposite, forceless, weak. All stopped or jerky. Sustained is the word, all right. Large movement, large. All right, and small movement. Using very little space. 